Hi guys, it's Matthias. Welcome to the year 2022. Hope you're all having a fantastic day. Not, uh, not too many having too much of a hangover and all that stuff. And um, in today's video, I'd like to present a gaming, PvE gaming idea that has been brewing in my head for a few days now and it's it's, a, it's an alternative idea to what I've already presented for Immersus, but I think that for a variety of different re reasons, I think that this idea is going to be better. And the main reason for that is because I believe that this idea is far more pragmatic. It's, um, it's far more... Um, it, it's, it's based on being... A game idea that could be used regardless of your experience and your investment into this game that's that's the whole idea with this initial idea to be realistic to have it to make it possible to implement something interesting into the game without uh, requiring hopefully without requiring requiring too much of the devs which obviously I couldn't tell because I don't know how to develop games myself but one of the things I also want to say, like, obviously, I would like to be able to play this game flying on a big, epic-looking dragon that breathes fire upon my opponents, and I will be flying over a epic-looking town with thousands of enemies in shiny armor, and of course I would like to do that with 144 frames per second, without any congestion, any, uh, any lags or anything. And I would, of course, love to do that without upgrading my computer. Of, co of course I want that, but I want to try to be a little bit realistic here. And that's what this idea is about, being realistic. And for the sake of realism, for the sake of pragmatism, pragmatism, I'd like to present this idea as an idea that could be implemented basically on the same map that we already have, or a just a different version of what we already have, where on this game mode we do exactly what we already do, we get into this area and try to gather as much resources as we possibly can, but in this area we are constantly going to be attacked by a variety of different opponents, whether it's, you know, monsters, animals, gnomes, orcs, whatever you, whatever you want to come up with, depending on what kind of creativity you have. So. In order for this game mode to work, regardless of your experience and uh, your uh, investment, the the gear. Uh, in order to gather resources, of course, you need tools, just like you do in the core gameplay. In the, uh, and if you don't have any tools, all you can gather is hemp. And this could be the case in this game mode as well. And the, the better tools you have, the more the, the better stuff you can you can gather but the longer you stay in this game mode the more vicious the attacks are going to be by these opponents and eventually you are going to die there, there's going to be more of them they're going to attack you faster and faster and they're going to be stronger and stronger so if you just go in there with no armor no weapon no nothing which we all will be that's the situation we will all be in in the beginning you're going to die quite quickly However, in this particular game mode, in this particular section of the map, this is going to be the only place where you can actually get weapons and armor in order to be able to get into this area again and do better. Now here is where the possibilities are more or less end endless, right? My idea would be that what you get uh, what you get here in terms of weapons and armor should not actually be functioning weapons and armor it should be armor pieces and weapons pieces that not only needs more than one piece to be put together into a functioning weapon but also requires material in order to be forged into a functioning weapon or a functioning piece of armor that way not only is it required for you or somebody else to get into the PvE area and gather enough of 
these weapons and armor pieces in order to craft a weapon that then can be used to stay along stay alive longer to slay more of these animals and and, and, and opponents which then increases your chances to get more weapons and armor drops but it also incentivizes and gives uh, value to uh, all the resources that we are already ready gathering obviously if you want to craft an iron sword you need the pieces of the iron sword from this PvE area but the pieces are gonna give you a useless sword until you with iron and whatever other material uh, that is required forge this into a functioning sword and in my opinion this should require a lot of material because of because of the way that the game now is being flooded with material that is more or less useless unless more and more people come in for the sake of just gathering more material so that's the idea behind that and the more weapons you have, or the better weapon you have, the better armor you have, the longer you can stay alive the next time you enter this area, and the more interesting PvE you will have, the more interesting gameplay you will have, because now you're gonna face more interesting and more vicious creatures that are going to try to kill you as you try to gather even more valuable lo loot. And now you have a an in-game economy created between the people that go in and play the PvE uh, fighting uh, uh, game mode and which are the ones that are gonna gather the weapons and uh, the armor and you have the people that are still going to be mining and, and, and uh, farming the way you see me doing here the material that we gather this way is still going to be just as useful or even more useful because it's going to be required to craft armor and weapons and of course we have the element of, of magic, so we're gonna need potions and jewelry for that, uh, hopefully in my opinion. And what else? Well, I also thought that this idea could be, um, it could, you, you could adapt this idea to what I originally, to my original ideas from my, my previous video where I was mainly focusing on dungeons. If you implement this idea in dungeons instead, then you could have it so that you as an opponent, your goal in order to get in order to get valuable loot, you, you want to get further and further into the dungeon. But the further in you get, the more vicious creatures you have to fight your way through. And eventually you're just not gonna be able to get past them because it will require a more high tier weapon than you can have in the beginning now of course eventually you will get that weapon and then you'll get further but eventually you're gonna be stopped for the same reason and if you have this kind of gaming idea then you can just you can just build on this idea and just update this idea to be a longer and longer dungeon and more more and more interesting games uh, more and more interesting enemies can be put into later on in the same dungeon or later on in the gameplay in this game mode if you have it in an open world like uh, like the way we're farming now and you can just basically expand on the same game idea until you feel like you have the time and resources to make a new game mode or once this once people get bored with it or whatever right but the main core reason why I believe in this idea is that you have one idea that can be used both for attracting new players that come in and just try out the game as a free-to-play uh, mode and uh, hopefully it will be interesting and exciting enough for them to feel like okay yeah but I, I let me just get this like basic club so that I can kill at least a few opponents and if that is fun enough, interesting enough, then maybe you wanna go get yourself a, a bow, a crossbow maybe, maybe a spear, maybe a dagger, a sword, eventually firearms. And uh, for the sake of not, like, for the, I don't know if it's, 
if it has any kind of pragmatism that you lose whatever errors you shoot maybe that's not how you want to do it because of signing transactions and all that so maybe you have you'll have a different um, idea for that oh, it's just a rock of course rocks could be made into uh, a stone could be made into uh, weapons could be one of the basic weapons right um, most basic weapon could be just a a club with a uh, stone, a stick, a burk, burk log or whatever, and maybe a string to tie tie them together. And that's your that's your first basic weapon, right? And you just go from from there. So that's the basic of the idea, and um, then it's just a matter of of the in-game economy and uh, the pragmatism of putting this together, making it interesting so that even it, so it will attract the free-to-play players just to try it out and make it fun and interesting to try to survive um, just for a few minutes without any weapons or any, any armor. But as time progresses, as you stay in this longer and longer, as more and more um, high-level opponents attack you, that should be the interesting part of the gameplay for the higher-level players or the, the players with higher-level gear and more experience. And then it can just get more and more intense with more and more vicious creatures. And in upcoming updates, if needed, hopefully you just add something at the very end of uh, the highest tier enemy at that point so that's the basic of this idea and uh, i'm looking forward to your feedback see what you guys think about this um you think it's a good idea is it a bad idea if you have something to add to it or something to change to this idea please let me know in the comment section below and uh, let this be the beginning of a constructive discussion thank you for watching